Hey what's up guys it's Hovik and today I got another tutorial for you guys it's gonna be on the wave warp thing I did in my last edit people want to know about it's not that hard it's like not that advanced but some people want to know so I guess it's for like I guess more it's gonna be a more easier tutorial to follow along to and here it is and you could see like right before you got the first kill the screen kinda like does a wave type of thing to the like funky music it's like wow wow and it, like, I don't know it kind of it looks like you put the music to a visual and like that's how it would look like it looks like a wave so um, I'm gonna show you how to, how to do that and I got my clip already twixtered up to the part of where the same song here it is. so right now I'm just gonna start with the effect so the first, the only thing you're gonna want to uh, use for this effect is turbulent displace this is the only thing I use I mean I'm gonna show you at the end that you can use a bunch of other stuff but right now uh, it already has the mount and stuff there but we're gonna keyframe and animate it ourselves so we're just gonna put the mount to zero at the beginning of where we want to start we're gonna keyframe the mount and we're gonna go about like halfway because it's gonna have to end like right here so we're gonna go to like right amount huh, hang on let me see we're gonna go okay that's a half second okay we're gonna go like right about here and we're gonna put like around um, the amount I think I did like 50 we can just do 50 we can do like 55 or something I think I used and then uh, we're gonna end it like right here and do zero right now we're just getting the basic like in into and out of the wave like we're not we're not really animating how it works yet but that's the basic thing you want to start out with and for the size I didn't animate that at all you can animate it if you want to get more complex warps and stuff but I just made mine around 160 164 is fine so I don't know it just makes the size bigger gets a deeper warp but if you want obviously you can go higher you can go smaller to get like tiny little ripples that's that's kinda weird it just gets like tiny little ripples but I just made mine like 160 around there Okay, now we want to animate like how the warp comes onto the screen, and you can do this as many ways as you want. But the way I like to do, I think I went top to bottom. So right here, the offset it gives you to mess around with is we can go to the middle where it's actually warped. It gives you you see like that little target thing moving up and down the screen. That's where the center of the warping is happening. So you can keyframe it going across the screen, so you get like that wave thing, or you can keyframe it uh, side to side, so it goes like that but I think I didn't mind top to bottom it works either way it just depends what you think looks good it's like whatever whatever works for you so I'm just gonna do it top to bottom for now so I'm gonna go to the beginning before it starts like right when it starts warping and I'm gonna select that little target thing and we're gonna go up to the top and we're gonna click and we're gonna put a keyframe for the complexity uh, I mean for the offset not the complexity then we're gonna go in half like around halfway like right whenever right whenever the amount is 50 and we're gonna uh, put the offset we're gonna select the target again and we're gonna put it at the very bottom so now oh wait no no that's not <laughs> we don't wanna do that we wanna uh, I'm just gonna undo that we're gonna now that we have the keyframe of the offset at the top right there we're gonna go to the very end of the animation which is right there and we're gonna go to the target for the offset and put it at the bottom so now if you scroll through you have the offset it's at the top and it goes to the bottom throughout the whole thing so like it gets that weird wave thing that comes through so now that's like it's still it's starting to look nice but we want to animate it in other ways too so we're going to animate the evolution so we're going to go to the evolution right here we're going to keyframe and we're going to go to the very end where the amount goes to zero and we're going to go around like 200 something degrees you can go to one you can do as much as you want but I just use this so it's not like a huge rotation but like gets that weird a weird look and like I said you can do whatever you want like for the offset whenever we went top to bottom you can go left to right or right to left it just it, mat it doesn't matter it's like whatever you want so we can see how that looks right now we can go ahead and ram preview that see it looks it looks uh, pretty good it looks like I did in my edit because that's exactly how I did it and um, 
I had some other warps in there too that you can use. Uh, I had a bulge one which I did the hard way, but I realized that you can just search in and delete that. You can search in warp, and warp is a really good tool. It has a lot of different types of uh, warping styles. So right here you can see right now it's on arc and it obviously doesn't look good because you don't have to animate it correctly. But um, you can change the bend and stuff. But that's not look look at the big list they have of warps. They have arc lower arc upper bulge which would have been the easier one for me to do I don't, you can just mess around with all this stuff you can do some really some really cool things flag a wave one so you could you could have used that one it just you can't really get that much complexity to do it as uh, as I did but it just kinda makes a weird thing <laughs> that's kinda weird but yeah you can go to fish eye there's a bunch there's tons of these things you can do to, uh, to mess around with and make some cool some that looks kinda cool you can make some really cool warps and stuff with that or you can you can do the combination of this and um, turbulent displace if you want like it's all about mixing things together and making some creative stuff so that's pretty much it that's all I want to show you today if you guys have any suggestions obviously put them in the comments and I will I will most likely do it especially if it's like top con top comment or something so uh, just post your suggestions and remember to like the video if you if this helped you out at all or if you're ever going to use it or whatever so that would make me happy that would make my day so I'll see you guys later and thank you for watching